Early this week, operations at Metro Villa's estate in Buruburu stalled for a couple of hours after its residents protested over a long-running row they claim has caused them agony for years. But that protest only lifted the lead on an ownership tussle that has been brewing for a while between the residents of this estate and the management of Buruburu Girls High School. It is this piece of land that paves way for an access road to Buruburu Girls High School and the Metro Villas Estate that is at the center of the tussle and has sucked in the management of Metropolitan Hospital and the Buruburu Girls High School. The hospital and the villas were one and the same and between themselves there was a big junk of lard which they could have used as an access to their villas. This lad extends all the way up to up to here. So somebody coming to make a gate around here means that you are interfering. When we asked for an access into Rabai Road, we were told that's a major road and we could not get an access into a major road. And we were then told we would have an access through here, which we knew to be the school driveway. And we cross-checked with the council and we are told the road was public. The school land started from their gate. The two institutions supposedly claim to be owners of the disputed piece of land with each entity producing to NTV documents obtained from the Ministry of Lands and the City Council of Nairobi. The estate is already built. To stop it using this access means it ceases to exist because it will have no sewer, no water, no stormwater drainage. And the fact of the matter is the school has never used this access for anything but a driveway. According to RIM, this lad was fronting, was fronting the, the Rabai Road and there was no demarcation that uh, the lad should be shared or the lad can be owned by somebody else. So with all that establishment and the process of applying for the title, eventually we got the title. The residents have since obtained a court order barring the school management from building a barrier leading to the estate. The matter now remains the subject of numerous claims and counterclaims in and out of court. For now, the future of the relationship between these two institutions hangs in the balance. Jane Gwery, NTV.